Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Welcome. <clears throat> I'm going to give the room just a little bit of time for a few people to sign in. And then I am going to try to get my chaotic morning together. Good morning, Lucinda. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, Shirley. I'm great. How are you? Other than being late. <laughs> Ladies, if you would, while everyone else is joining the room, if you would go ahead and give a big thumbs up. Thank you. Hello, DJ King. <laughs> All right. Good morning, Sus. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Susan. I got you, Sus. Good morning, CF. Welcome. Mocha. Good morning. Mocha kept me company on my drive back from the airport last night. So, um, it hasn't been a it hadn't been a full 12 hours since we last spoke. Good morning, four ducks. Lawanese, welcome. Oh, I'm so glad that you are off. Good morning, Carmen. Diva 9000. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Q. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. No worries, sus. Ems, good morning. Good morning, everyone. If you would, go ahead and give a big thumbs up. <clears throat> I am going, oh, I just got the notification that my Instacart order is on its way. So once I hear the doorbell, I may have to end this and come back. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. So let's get started. So, first thing is that there was um, an Andre Bendel bag that for some reason in all of its oddity caught my attention. And I didn't think that the bag was going to ship. And once it did ship and I opened it as I was, you know, checking to make sure that all of my items had shipped because I'd had... Um, an early, not so uh, favorable experience with items, shipping, not shipping them, shipping the wrong thing, etc. So I opened the uh, package and I was like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really sure about this bag. Um, but it was a bag that kind of inspired me to want the metallics in the Carrington. It is also what put me in the mindset uh, or put metallics on my mind. And I was reminded that metallics and summer really do go hand in hand. So I'm going to start with sharing with you my metallic inspired Andre Bendel bag. So it has a true metallic um, woven background. It is white and it has rivets, the leather, it has feet on the bottom, and it is the same on the back as it is on the front, except on the front. In silver stamp there, you can see the Henri Bendel uh, uh, logo. The handles on this, I think, are what sealed it for me because they, to me, are like summer beach party, pool party, white party, um, an evening out. I just, it just really, 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 really caught my attention. But once I got it, I wasn't sure. But then I remembered this. 
And although it is not perfect, good morning, B-Star, good morning, Delise. Although it is not a dead ringer, I don't know how closer it could be um, for it to be a wonderful pair. So um, I should have checked to refresh my memory on the name of this HB bag. Uh, the tag may be in here someplace. But of course, Honoré Bendel is no more, so the only place you'd be able to find it is on the secondary market. It has the iconic uh, Centennial stripe lining in the interior, and it has the same setup in the interior as Judy and Burke with the slip, zip, and double slip on the walls. It's just at the pockets and as well as the zip and slip are just a little bit smaller. But for an evening out, a throw and go bag for, I don't know um, what I would say. I mean, you could use like a purse organizer if you wanted a little bit more structure. But in addition to the gorgeous handles, it has... A magnetic closure that just kind of holds everything together so this bag is what inspired uh, me to take another look at the metallics and to get on board with them for the summer they truly are neutral they will go with everything and it just adds a little bit of Sass, spice, pizzazz, uh, whatever you want to call it, to the bag and to whatever I mean to to whatever you're wearing, right? So metallics are to me like a red, or for many of you like black, it will absolutely go with everything. So now I'm on the kick with metallics. And I find this little number on uh, the coach website. And although it is not, um, I didn't purchase it to pair it with the HB bag. It just caught my attention because again, metallics are what I was looking for. So it is this little metallic card case. It's kind of a bronzy rose gold with the, the chocolate in front. Easy slot for your most frequent use, frequently used card or your ID on the front. It has a zip top so that you could throw some cash or maybe um, your a couple of cards. And then on the back side, it has one, two, three, four additional card slots. So this little metallic piece, I'm not sure um, what, I, what bag I would use this in, but I really, really, really like the metallic, the vibe, the summer, the fact that it kind of is a standalone piece. Or so I thought. I thought it was a standalone piece until this week I was in Michigan and was able to connect with my tribe sister Kimberly Mines. And um, we hit Kate Spade, Michael Kors, and Coach. And I don't know what came over me, but I felt compelled to buy something from every single one of those stores. I did not go crazy, only a total of four items purchased, but they were things that either I had kind of been looking for or didn't know that I could find or need it until I got there. And that is where this little metallic -y piece comes in. So Kim was carrying this little piece in black. 
Um, they had it in store in black. They also had it in store in navy. But they had this little number, 75% off on clearance. <laughs> now, the front of this one is different from this one. But the backgrounds on them are the same. So I could force it if I needed to. But the great thing about these two is that either you need one or the other. So if I need to carry um, cash or maybe my checkbook or double checkbook, which I often carry, or um, wanted to be able to add any other things with this having a wristlet strap, this could be a standalone piece. This could be my, you know, movie, night out, dinner out. It could be errands. It could be what you grab out of your bag after work to run in the grocery store, or the pharmacy. Um, it could be um, what you grab to, you know, for any number of things. And it has the same setup, card slot on the front, zip top, but not quite double the length of the small card case, but just as a comparison so that you can see the difference, it's taller and deeper. And then on the back side, it has a full slip and it has six card slots. So plenty of space and places for you to keep your reward cards or other IDs or cards that you may need on the go. I would caution about using it though as a wristlet if your items don't fit snugly um, in the card slots because that could result in disaster. So already had this one from a Saturday of shopping online with DJ King and then pick this one up this week while with Kimberly Mines. So, thought that, you know what? Between these two, one or the other, I've got my metallics for the summer. And then, lo and behold, we head over to Kate Spade and it all falls apart for me. It falls apart because there is this metallic little cosmetic case at Kate Spade on clearance. And I had visions finally of a matching pair of any size to go with both pieces in sight. And I absolutely love it. So, small size cosmetic case, wristlet on it as well, zipper pull, little dome. So, it's probably a little smaller than, I mean, I could get my lip products in here, but I don't usually carry like face powder and stuff like that in my purse. So, I think it would work because it appears to be a little bit... Um, longer, I think, than my Dunia & Burke cosmetic case that I'm currently using in my bag. But I felt like, and Kim had to kind of push me. She was like, this is the one that you need. Um, but I don't know that she knew that I had picked up anything other than this. So those two, I feel like I'm getting a lot of glare, and it could be because of these are just metallics, but... I'm sorry, Carmen. I will go to the enabler corner. I apologize. But if you go back in Kate Spade and you're near a uh, coach, then I would say it's worth it. And now I've got to find a metallic gold, rose gold bag that these will be perfect in because I just wouldn't put it in the silver. It's, it's definitely a no for that. So that is one two of the items i did say that we were uh shopping for accessories right i have been 
scouring every single brand in an attempt to find a red leather card case. And Kate Spade did not disappoint. <laughs> this is my new Kate Spade red, slightly pebbled leather card case. It has a slip on the back, snap closure, another slip, and then an accordion style card case with another slip on the back. Now, these little spaces in between each of the card slots, I think this is more for like if you want to drop a couple of coins because you need tolls or I don't know vending machine money or you got a couple of dollars or cash that you can kind of fold down. But you cannot get a card in between where these stitches are. But it's red. Y'all know how I feel about red. It's neutral. It is going to go with everything. <laughs> and this was, let's see. The Dome Cosmetic case was regular price $89. I got it for $21.36, just so that you kind of see the length and the depth. And there's the side view. And the accordion card case in red was also regular $89. And it was also on sale for $21.36 because they were having, um, it was 70% off. Both of the items were 70% off plus an additional 20. So I have finally secured a solid red card case and I am in love. I like this style card case because I think that it will provide better organization and division, right? So you can keep like your um, your driver's license and your most frequently used credit credit or debit card here in the front maybe your rewards cards and maybe a second credit or debit card in the sec in the second section and then the third one for me would be my triple a and my insurance cards because i never leave without those things so i just like the fact that even though the space you can get far more cards in the accordion style it allows for a little bit better organization for, for me, at least, I think, for quick access to the items or cards that you may have stored here. Not to mention um, slot, a slip secured underneath the snap and another slip pocket on the back. Yes, Diva 9000, your store reward cards would be amazing. So if you did like... Um, I don't know, like the reward cards for like Sephora and Ulta and then maybe your ones for the grocery store and maybe something else. Or maybe you have three favorite shopping centers and you could put store them by location like your um, different stores, usually different malls, some overlap. But you could put like everything, for example, for me, like all the reward cards for me at Cumberland Mall would go here, maybe for Lennox here, and then I could do like um, Atlantic Station or, um, you know, uh, Stone Ridge or something like that in the back. It also would be perfect for gift cards. I mean, this thing has multiple uses. This was a late purchase in the evening, mind you, we did not have a lot of time left at the outlets due to the time that I left work and then the amount of traffic and then um, the mall itself was 47 miles one way from where um, I was in the city. But before going to Kate Spade, we were at Michael Kors and I really, really wanted from Michael Kors um, another card case. Uh, the one that I recently picked up was, let's see, I think I showed this one. Yes, 
So I picked this one up um, back in a, pr a prior trip to Chicago. And I like it again because it's accordion style and even more division. Great price. This one ended up being like $27, I think, on clearance. Let me, uh, I think I have a receipt here. Uh, yeah, $27. Um, and then after tax, it was $29.23. So I, I like this one because um, it will go with my gym bags for travel. It will pair with my uh, Lollipop Swirl Willis. It will pair with my Janine um, patent leather satchel. It'll go with my beach bag. I just really liked the fact that it had a nice, rich, summer fun pop of color. But I also wanted something that was going to be um, able to kind of go from bag to bag, season to season. They have one or have, they still have it. And I, it, but it's weighty. It has like the gold or metal hardware around the edge of it. It is not racing green M's. It is more of, of a turquoise like bluish green, but not racing green. Um, but they had another one and I picked it up in black this week. I do not have an aversion to black accessory pieces i just have a hard time with black bags good morning patty good morning Rhonda. so it's the same card case same setup in black the other one that i really like and I, maybe i'll continue to watch the price and if it comes back down i can i may take the plunge but it has like this same heavy metal hardware all around like the edges it has a flap that comes over with a different piece of hardware. Um, I think it even has metal corner pieces on the back. And when you hold this version, as opposed to the flap version that has all of the extra hardware, it feels like they're a half a pound difference in weight. And my bags are already heavy and packed to the gills, so I didn't need anything else that was going to add such significant weight to my bag, but I still want it. They had it in white, they had it in navy. If they'd had it in red, it would have been a done deal. Um, I picked this one up at MK before we headed over to Kate Spade. Had I been uh, gone in Kate Spade first and got found the red one, then this probably would not have caught my attention. Um, but now, I have three of them if you count the one that I just showed in the turquoise. So I am in Detroit for work. Um, I have one of the young ladies that um, is on my team with me and she's only worked on my team for about a month. I hired her in externally. And this was her first time to the D. And um, we were, Kim and I had connected. We talked about how far the outlets were and so on and so forth. And in true Kim form, she, of course, said, hey, you don't have to threaten me with a good time. Uh, just let me know when we're going to go, when we're going to meet. So I am trying to get the day wrapped up. Kim and I are connecting. But what prompted the connection earlier rather than later is that the young lady on my team um, asked what I was planning to do. And I said, well, I'm going to meet with one of my tribe sisters this evening. We are going to get a little bit of retail therapy in. And she was like, oh, really? She says, because there is um, an outlet mall here that's about an hour away. And she says, I have a confession. I'm addicted to outlet malls. And I said, do tell me more. I knew there was a reason I hired you on my team. I knew I liked you from the very first conversation we had. 
So needless to say, uh, we ended up jumping in one rental car instead of two. We had an amazing drive up. She fit right in, DJ. She absolutely did. Um, we had a great bonding time on the way up. Um, she and her family are from South Carolina. You know, that's where I'm from. Uh, HBCU graduate. She also is an HBCU grad. Um, she is a transplant now here in uh, the Atlanta metro area. Same here. Um, our moms well, with their parenting styles, very similar. Um, so it's amazing what that 47 miles in the car one way uh, afforded us. But then we got to the mall and it was a little late because we were again late leaving work and um, the drive up. So we only had a little bit over an hour, about an hour, 15 hour, 20 minutes before the Great Lakes Crossing Outlet Mall closed. We set our um, times and we were like, hey, it doesn't make any sense to rush out. It's going to be closing soon. We'll meet back um, at the entrance once uh, the mall closes. So it afforded me the opportunity to go left, um, which is where all of the handbag, purse, accessory stores were, and to meet up with Kimberly. And she went in and went right um, because she was looking for polo and a couple of things for her kiddos. So it worked out absolutely amazing. Um, was able to do um, what I'm going to call a bag swap with Kim. Uh, because what um, I, I think I'm going to start calling my Sunday time like handbag smuggler or something because I feel like every single business trip I go on, either I'm buying a bag or an accessory to bring back or I'm taking something to someone else or they've got things that they've been picking up or that I had shipped to them and that we're swapping. So I feel like every time I go in and out of town, I'm smuggling handbags and small leather goods back into the state of Georgia. Um, so I just wanna really quickly share um, one of the things or a, a few of the things that uh, Kimberly either gifted to me or that she was holding um, for me or that, you know, we had zailed back and forth. We've got all kinds of things going on. Um, so I'm going to just share that with you. The first is this MK guitar strap that is amazing. It has the Bordeaux trim. It is an absolute perfect companion piece for the light taupe. Florentine medium satchel. Kim picked this up um, for me because I was uh, busy at work, missed the text messages or, or was away from my phone on a Saturday. I can't remember which case it was, um, but I ended up zailing her the money for this um, after she shared with Sonja Covington and myself the pictures of this strap with her light taupe. And when I tell you it was like they were born for each other. It was perfect, perfect. Um, the underbelly is solid, pebbled. It's kind of a light taupey color as well. It is, you could call this one reversible if you wanted to, if you needed it on this side, just because the finishing, I don't know that anyone would pay that much close attention to it, but if not, it's a gorgeous snake print. And this one is called, um, the color is called Ballet, and it is the color block guitar strap leather, again, in the color Ballet. So, uh, Diva 9000, <laughs> don't start. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna call. We're no, it it's not pink. Mm -mm. It's it's not pink. It's not pink. Don't call it pink. Y'all know how I feel about pink. That's why I'm gonna use it on this side. 
Y'all know I'll never reverse it, even if it could be. Mm -hmm. I hear you just saying, y'all, oh, y'all, uh, mm, y'all better stop. <laughs> y'all better stop with the pink. <laughs> All right, this next item she picked up for me after I expressed buyer's remorse. So I uh, played personal shopper a little bit for uh, Sandra Covington for her birthday. And we ended up also at Kate Spade. And there was this adorable little card case. Um, and Sandra immediately said, DA, get it for me. I will sell you the money. So I got it and I really, really fell in love with it. But after I um, looked at it a little bit closer, I realized that it was not leather. It was PVC, which is the fancy name for vinyl or plastic. And I just had a hard time um, digesting that, but I really, really loved the piece. And, um, I told Sandra that I really regretted not, um, getting it. And they were both, she and Kimberly were both surprised that I didn't pick it up because of course it was red. Well, Kimberly was at Kate Spade and sent me a text saying they have it. Do you want me to pick it up? And I absolutely said yes, because it is so stinking cute. It is red, Kate Spade stamped. I don't know if you're ever gonna be able to pick it up on camera. The white hearts, it's card slots on the back. So set up very similar to the one that I just got from Coach, with the exception that the Coach one has the pocket on the front and this one does not. This one does not have a key ring. This one does. So I could put my keys on it if I wanted to, or I could put it on the key leash in my bag. It has a zip top. And Sanja assured me that because it has the gusset, unlike the one early versions from Dooney and Burke of this same card style or card case style, I would not have any issues getting my cards in and out. So... I am in love. It also has a slip pocket on the back and there is Instacart. Hold on. Sorry. All right, I'm back and I have groceries. All right, so perfect. I could use one for travel and one for my stuff at home. I could consolidate from um, maybe a Carrington and use small ones. It was, it was food. So as I promise you, I have bags of groceries. 
sitting in the foyer on the floor. The only thing I did was grab the ice cream and throw it in the freezer because I don't need any milkshake mishaps. So that's my story and I'm sticking with it. All right. So I completely lost my train of thought. But um, here is that one. So I was really, really happy to see this one. Also, um, if you have been on my channel for a while, um, particularly watch videos that were filmed in the month of February, you know that I have a couple of Valentine's Day Infinity scarves. It would go perfectly with that, particularly if I'm not using this inside of a bag. And then... I also have um, my Dooney and Burke, what I call Valentine's Day print bag um, that has the black and white, red, black and white hearts and stuff all over it. So I think this would go perfectly in that as well. Not to mention the fact that it has the adorable little spade and the heart. And one day I'm going to tell um, the story of why I am so um, infatuated with hearts and spades. It's a little sad story and I can't tell it without crying. So I may need to film it and that way I can edit it. Um, but my best friend who passed away um, at age 26 unexpectedly from a heart attack, from complications, from sickle cell... He actually, um, anyway, moving right along. All right, the next item was completely unexpected, but Kim was out the day before um, picking up some, checking out some accessories at Tarjay. She had sent um, a couple of pictures and was inquiring as to whether or not anyone, hey, do you want me to pick this up for you? And I did not see the the uh, the pictures or the text message until much, much, much later in the evening because it was another long day at work. But she knows me and she knows the colors that I have. So she gifted this gorgeous card case to me and it has kind of the um it's a little I'm gonna call it blush I think I'm gonna call this blush it's not pink but it has yellow and kind of a little bit um I guess that would be natural are y'all what do y'all think about this color right here is that more natural so, um, but it has a white background and I think um, with the yellow flowers, it will go with several different things that I have. So inside, can y'all tell I have gone like absolutely card case crazy. It has made my life going through the airport week in, week out, day in, day out so much easier. And I just wonder why it took so long <laughs> for me to add these and why it took so long for designers to offer them in a variety of um, styles and organizations and sizes and so forth. But six wonderful card slots and a little place here in the center for me to keep cards. Um, I'm sorry, coins and then actual storage space. So if I want to throw a couple of dollars or I don't know maybe a little um I think I could get a lip gloss in there because it's got some depth in it can y'all see that it's got some space I could probably get a lip gloss not a lipstick because it's going to be a little bit bulky but accordion style so I won't have any issues getting my cards out so I love this and if you like this then I would say check out your local Target because this was a purchase from this week all right the next item
are the love your feet, they'll take you places, wine glass socks. And um, they say, you had me at Merlot. So Kim knows that I love my wine. I don't have to have it every day. And I don't drink it every day. I don't drink it every week. I don't drink it every month. But when I do drink it, um, I do drink it. <laughs> she also knows that the entire winter while I was in and out of Detroit, every single time I talked to her, I told her, I was like, my feet are so cold. <laughs> like, I don't know how you stay warm here. I am like cold to the bone and um, she found these cute little ones and I love them. Uh, I don't think I will have a need for them this summer, although um, I could because I keep my house in the summer like a meat locker so I could break them out, but I am absolutely going to enjoy these this fall, this winter. Um, I will think of my time in the D every time I put them on, as well as my tribe sister, Kim. Um, and just a little added something to help hold the warmth um, into my body the next time I am in cold weather, especially in Detroit. And the last thing that Kimberly gifted to me that is like a buddy to my little warmy toes is this gorgeous um, pouch and it says red lips and wine sips. It looks really, really red on camera. It's not, it really is a more Merlot color. I don't know, it's different Merlot than in the glass, but it has sparkle and shine and glitter. And I am, oh, could I make that? I, pro, mm, I need a little gold. Like, let's see. Let me get this out. Uh, okay, so I'm calling out Peter Dooney. Peter, we need gold and silver card cases and gold and silver cosmetic cases and what else do y'all want while watching the live stream what else do we need in gold and silver from Dooney and Burke in leather card cases cosmetic cases What else? I love it. Willis, absolutely. I, I take a Willis. On the strap, oh my goodness, that would be like the perfect crossbody. Mocha cream, I agree. We need some larger cosmetic bags. Y'all, I have a, a, a Dooney and Burke cosmetic bag that <laughs> I'm exaggerating, but it could be like a little small duffel. It is absolutely humongous and I love it. I love it. Um, but here is the interior. It does have a pink lining. No organization in the inside, but it is a zip top closure and solid on the back. Red lips and wine sips. So things that I got this week in just kind of as a recap, my blush snake skin strap going to be perfect. Perfect with my Florentine medium saddle in light taupe. Red lips and wine sips pouch. A rosy gold metallic. Let me see if I can figure out what the actual color name is. Let me get in here. And this was Kate Spade. And I am not seeing a color name and there's not a card or tag 
put that. My You Had Me at Merlot Socks. My Target Floral Card Case. My Coach Metallic Two-Toned Card Case. Coach Metallic Two-Toned. Um, what is this thing called, Kim? Let me see. It is called a large wristlet. So got that. My Kate Spade Red Hearts and Spades card case. Kate Spade Pebbled Leather accordion style card case and MK black five slot accordion card case. <gasps> that made for a phenomenal week. I appreciate Kim for uh, collecting items for me and gifting other items to me, as well as battling the traffic to come hang out um, with me and my team after um, work. I am so excited um, that I have a, a job that not only affords me uh, the lifestyle that I have, because that truly is an amazing blessing. Um, but it also affords me the opportunity to travel and that my current territory for work um, allows me to travel and to spend time with my tribe sisters. So if I ever change jobs or if I ever change territories, <laughs> we'll have to figure out something different. Um, but I appreciate the fact that it affords me the opportunity. I've been able um, to hang out and with so, so many of you. And I love that. Um, but I also love being able to spend time with my tribe sisters in between um, events and shopping and meetups and Vegas and cruises and stuff to be able um, to really stay connected with everyone. So I do not take it lightly that um, God has found favor on me because um, it I, I couldn't ask for... Um, a different lifestyle because I absolutely love the one that I have. So that is all. I will be back on tomorrow evening. Um, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to sip and cuss or bag reveal tomorrow. But if you are curious, then you should come back and hang out 6 p.m. Eastern Standard. No. Yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central. <laughs> Please make sure that you are checking out the other amazing creators in this handbag community. There is lots of content. You're right, Mrs. Q. I surely could. Um, <laughs> I'm seeing the vote for do both, do both. <laughs> um, sip and cuss and a bag reveal. So I, um, I need to go and pick up a couple of things. I found them online that I want for uh, Cuba because I'm starting to pull my things together um, so that packing at the end of the month, end of next month, is not such a big uh, ordeal. Um, the tribe's birthday is coming up. We will turn one years old the last Saturday of this month. So I am looking forward to hosting tribe time and spending time with the tribe. Um, we may actually on that day um, do kind of a marathon of tribe times because there are so many of us that want to share and celebrate in our one year birthday. So please stay tuned um, for details for the tribe's birthday party. 
Um, make sure that you have subscribed to all of our channels and alerts because we are going to have a virtual birthday party. Um, some of us are actually going to get together in person. So y'all should just go ahead and call the bakery and tell them you want a hashtag tribe time cake. Let them know, call Instacart and have them uh, get your wine order ready so that you don't have to leave the house. You can stay in your comfy socks, in your PJs, with your pants optional on that particular Saturday. Get your credit card, your debit card, your gift cards ready because we are going to have a good time. We are going to share. We are going to reminisce. And most importantly, we are going to be on the hunt for some amazing deals. So we will kick off that weekend. If I'm not mistaken, Mrs. Q, correct me if I'm wrong, but we are going to kick our birthday party weekend off with For Real Friday with Mrs. Q actually letting us know where all the deals are. And then on that Saturday, we are going to hang out with you for a few hours on top of hours, on top of hours, because we are just going to bounce from one channel to the next and support each other and to share um, what our experience has been like with the tribe, share some of our new purchases and treasures and all those things. All right, well, we'll, we'll that's all right. We'll, we'll get it together. We'll get it together. I'm, we'll be fine, Mrs. Q. Um, Kimberly is ready. I'm ready. Ems, are you in? Sandra, Carmen, Sus. Are you in? DJ King, are you in? Ivana, military mom. I'm calling everybody. I am calling Diva 9000, Beverly Johnson, La Juanice, Karen, Duck Daddy, Shadow Smith, Brenda. B Star Vibes, Sunny Skies, Life Help Now, Candy Crusher. I'm call I'm calling everybody out. If you if you have spent Lawa Niece is ready. All right, y'all. I'm just telling you, get you get it. You do not have to be in front of the camera. It does not have to be an hour long. We just want to celebrate the fact that um one year ago. This love for Dooney and Burke brought a group of women together over their love for fine leather calf hides, a love for Dooney and Burke, um, a love for our collections that we wanted to just get together and shop. And that one experience in 2018 has led to many connections. Um, it has led to a virtual spa night. It led to smaller meetups. And um, it, it has just allowed for an amazing year of being able to connect with each other um, on and off of screen and it has been an absolutely amazing year so what better way to celebrate a year of uh friendships being born the tribe being born a sisterhood um unlike any other being born other than to have a big old birthday party <laughs> It has been an amazing year. Y'all, please make sure that you are checking out all of the content creators. If you're not sure who we're talking about, basically, just scroll through the names that are in the chat and just go to their channel and hit subscribe and turn on the bell. That, it, that really is the absolute best way. Okay, I will, Teresa. Thank you. 
Um, that is the absolute best way to keep up with us and the content and all of the things that we have going on. So thank you, thank you, thank you so very much for uh, signing in and hanging out with me, even though I was late. Y'all should be used to that by now. I'm sorry. But um, that's all I have. I will be back here tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Eastern time-ish. That's what we're going to call it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I know, Ems, it's time to go take the pants off. <laughs> Y'all have an amazing weekend. Enjoy your Saturday. I will see you in the live stream tomorrow evening.